Dear students, today we are going to discuss about the topic nomenclature of geometrical isomers. Last class we have discussed about the introduction to the geometrical isomerism. What do you mean by geometrical isomerism? The isomers which are having same structure or formula but are different in special arrangement of atoms or groups around the double bond. That is termed as geometrical isomers. This phenomenon termed as geometrical isomerism. Uh, examples two examples are discussed the first example uh, two butene cis two butene and trans two butene uh, in case of cis two butene two methyl groups are arranged on the same side of the double bond two groups are arranged in the same side of the uh, double bond that's termed as cis isomers but in that are opposite side uh, two methyl group or two groups are arranged in opposite side on the double bond that is termed as trans isomers in this topic we have discussed about the nomenclature of geometrical isomers three type of nomenclature for geometrical isomers first one is cis trans nomenclature second one is ez nomenclature third syn and e system nomenclature these are the three type of nomenclature nomenclature of geometrical isomers cis trans nomenclature cis ez and syn and e system nomenclature of geometrical isomers next what do you mean by cis trans nomenclature first we have discussed about the cis trans nomenclature the isomers in which identical group or same groups are attached on the same side of the double bond that's known as cis isomer the isomers in which identical groups or same atom or groups are on the same side of the double bond is called as cis which the group or atom are on the opposite side when same group or atoms are on opposite side called as trans okay when a atom or group are attached to the same side of the double bonds termed as cis on opposite side termed as trans already discussed in case of cis trans nomenclature for example 2 chloroethene uh, on 2 dichloroethene exists as both cis and trans form uh, for example of cis trans isomers uh, on to dichloroethene exist in both form cis and trans form this is the cis form um, this is the cis form this is trans the trans on to dichloroethene this is the cis on to dichloroethene these are two group of uh, two same group or atoms attached on the same side same side that's termed as cis but in uh, or trans on two dichloromethane the two groups are attached on opposite side okay understand another example cis tubutin and trans butin trans tubutin already discussed it cis tubutin and trans tubutin In case of cis two butene, two methyl groups are attached on the same side, but trans butene, two methyl groups are attached on the uh, opposite side. Opposites. Another example uh, cis on non dry bromo two butene and trans on non dry bromo two butene. This is another example of cis trans isomer. This is the cis isomer, the trans isomer. Uh, two groups are attached on the same side that is cis on opposite side is termed as trans okay these are the examples for cis trans isomers when a cis trans isomers are not possible for this compound because two substances on the sp2 carbons are the same in this case 
uh, cis and trans isomers are not possible for this compound because two substituents uh, two substituents and and on the sp2 carbons are the same therefore cis trans isomer is not possible in this case i uh, next uh, the another is a system of nomenclature for used for this case is it system of nomenclature of geometrical isomers the second system is the is it nomenclature of geometrical isomer in this case when all four substituents are different cis trans type of isomerism cannot be applied when all the four substituents are different when all the four substituents are different cis trans type of isomerisms cannot be applied in this type is it system of nomenclature is applied based upon the sequence rule of can in gold pre lobe for naming we have already discussed in optical isomerism nomenclature of r and s nomenclature of optical isomers sequence rule of can in gold pre lobe for naming is a system of nomenclature is applied on the geometrical isomers is a system of nomenclature the higher priority is assigned to atom of higher atomic number higher priority is assigned to atom of higher atomic number for high, higher atomic number atom or groups have higher spare priority and there are two e in e equal to opposite side z is zusammen e is integer that is a, a e is an system of nomenclature z is a zusammen zusammen indicated for same side the higher priority or higher atomic number higher priority group are on the same side but uh, on opposite side the higher priority group are on opposite side that is a indigen e e isomer the z isomers has higher priority group on the same side the e isomers has the higher priority group on the opposite side e z system if the high priority groups are on the same side of the double bond in e z system if the high priority groups are on the same side of the double bond the isomers has the z configuration isomers have z configuration z is is zusammen german for together that is uh, on uh, higher priority group on the same side sir together there is a this configuration that is in zusammen is a german word the meaning together that if the higher priority group on the opposite side of the double bond this isomers has e configuration thus e means indigen is a german word that is meaning opposite that's meaning opposite z configuration and e configuration on same side that is a z configuration z is indicated zusammen the german word meaning together but a higher priority group on the opposite side that is uh, opposite side of the double bond this isomers is a e configuration this e is a indigen this is a german for word for meaning opposite meaning next rule sequence rule for can in gold and pre lobe for naming for geometrical isomers sequence rule of e and z nomenclature of geometrical isomers this is the uh, can in gold pre lobe for naming we have already discussed in, in the chapter optical isomers r and s system of nomenclature of optical isomers the sequence rule of can in gold pre lobe for naming first two rule is the higher priority is given higher priority is given to the atom with a higher atomic number high priority is given the atomic with uh, atom with a higher atomic number for example in this case the bromine chlorine the second and third position uh, for first and second position have bromine and chlorine Bro bromine and chlorine those are halogens bromine chlorine hydrogen and ch3 in this case the bromine have higher atomic number have highest priority it's next to chlorine the chlorine has next the chlorine therefore the bromine and chlorine on the same side that is in the case of z isomer z isomer 
but in the bromine and chlorine is the on opposite side the bromine and chlorine have higher atomic number therefore high priority high priority on higher priority group on the same side it is a z isomer but in the opposite side e isomer is the first rule of a sequence or first rule the higher priority is given uh, to the atom with the higher atomic number next second rule if isotope of the same elements are present higher priority is given same element isotope of the same elements are present the higher priority is given to the isotope of higher atomic mass this is the second rule the isotope have same element isotope of same element are present the higher priority is given higher based on the atomic number uh, mass number based on the mass number example deuterium isotope deuterium isotope is more priority than protium deuterium isotope is more priority than uh, protium and the carbon 13 isotope has more priority than carbon 12 c13 isotope has more priority than c12 this is the one example z isomer and e isomer on the deuterium and protein deuterium and this is an example uh, for z isomer and the another uh, the first priority is ch3 group then second is deuterator uh, then third is protein in case protein therefore the uh, on same side higher priority groups on the same side that is the z isomer uh, on opposite side that is e isomer next rule 3 if the relative priority of two group cannot be decided by rule on the relative priority of two groups are cannot be decided by rule on it shall be determined by applying the next atom or sequence of atom in the group x example for typing group uh, grouping in organic molecule where x is more than one atom when x is a uh, CH2, CH2, CH3 that is greater priority is first one in the CH2, CH2, CH3 group then CH2, CH3 greater than CH3 greater than hydrogen that is the longer the hydrocarbon chain have higher its priority the longer the the longer the hydrocarbon chains have higher its priority that is the priority order is the CH2, CH2, CH3 then CH2, CH3, ether group, then methyl group, hydrogen. The first one in the propyl is greater than um, ether group is greater than methyl is greater than hydrogen. That is the priority. Or these are the examples the isomer and E isomer. This is the This is the sequence rule of can in all and prelo for naming the first rule is the higher priority is given higher priority is given to the atom with the higher atomic number the second rule is the isotope the same element the higher priority is given to the high, uh, higher atomic mass the third rule if the relative priority of group cannot be decided by rule 1, shall be determined by applying to the next atom to the sequence of the atom of group. If the longer hydrocarbon chain is the higher, uh, higher priority, the longer hydrocarbon chain is the higher its priority. These are the sequence rule of a EZ nomenclature of geometrical isomer. The rule 1 is the higher priority is given to the atom with the higher atomic number the second the same element isotope the same element is present the higher priority is given with higher atomic mass if the relative priority of the two 
group cannot be desired in this case the longer um, hydrocarbons change higher its priority okay thank you all